Hello and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will cover how to get help with Linux commands. There are so many Linux commands and so many options. I get asked all the time on how I remember them all. I only know one guy who knows all the options to all the commands, and he's a freak. The way that I keep track is with using the following tools. One of the simplest ways of trying to figure out what options do and what options to use for a command is the help option. Depending on the command, you can use dash h or dash dash h e l p. So here we are using lsusb command with the dash h option. As you can see, the results give you usage information. So it tells you how to use it. You give the command with certain options and what it does, which is list out USB devices. So for the dash V or dash dash verbose, it shows more descriptors. The dash S shows specific devices or dash D shows only devices with the vendor ID, so on and so forth. So as you can see, the results give usage information and the brief summary of what the command does and then a list of options and their explanation. Let's take a look at another example. So we're going to use the make dir command and we're going to do the dash h to see what the options are for make dir. So in this particular case, it actually tells you that dash h is an invalid option and they recommend you use dash dash help. So let's go ahead and do that. So once you've done that, once again, it shows you the usage, a brief summary, and then all the options. So the point here is that some commands use dash h and some use dash dash help. So if one doesn't work, try the other one. The next way to get help is with using a command called what is. So what is will give you a one line description of the command that you are what ising. So for example, we can do what is of make dir. And then it'll tell you that, hey, there are actually found two different make dirs within the system. Make dir one makes directories. Make dir two creates a directory. And we can do what is of ls. And it shows you that ls basically lists directory contents. You can also put multiple commands after the what is, and it will show you everything that you put in. So let's say you want to use a certain command, but can't remember exactly what it's called, but remember a part of the name. Well, with what is, you can use a wildcard character to help you search by adding the dash w option. An example is all of the hardware commands we went over in the hardware video. You know that one of them starts with ls, but then you can't remember the rest. So you can do what is dash w for wildcard, and then do ls star. And then you see tons of results. So hopefully this will help jog your memory and then you will realize that it was the lsusb command that you were trying to remember. The way most people use to get help on a command is to use what's called the man pages, which is short for manual pages. The man pages provide documentation for most Linux software from cell commands and programs to kernel library functions. Most commands have a man page, but it really depends on the programmers who wrote that command or program. Let's look at an example. So let's say we are interested in the options for the xxd command. So we're going to do man of xxd. Once we hit return, it's going to come back with the man page. So to get around a man page, the navigation is similar to that of the more or less commands. You can use the spacebar or the F key 
to go forward a page, you can use the B key to go backwards a page. And just like with more or less, you can use the slash key to search for terms. And you can also use the question mark to go backwards to search. And typing the Q key would quit out of the man page and bring you back to the command line. So I'm going to hit the up arrow to go back into the man page. So we can take a look at what's on the man page for XXD. So the man pages are divided into section. The top line here tells you the tool that you're looking at. So in our case is XXD. You will see a parentheses with a number inside. And that belongs to one of eight books. The book that you will typically see is book one, which is what we have here, which covers the general commands. Or else the other one you may see is book eight for system administrator commands. You may also see book two for system calls and book three for library calls if you write shell scripts and programs. The typical man page starts off with the name section. So it will tell you the name of the tool. So in this case, it's XXD, and it gives it a one line description. Then there is the synopsis section where it gives you a summary of how to use the tool. So you can use XXD H to get help. Otherwise, you type XXD, you can give it some optional options, right? That's what the square brackets mean. And then you can give it an input file and then an output file. So that's the synopsis section. The third section is the description section that gives a comprehensive description of the tool. And then we have the options section next where it goes and breaks down each one of the options. So if you use the dash A, this is what it's going to do. If you use dash B, this is going to what it's going to do and so on and so forth. And as you can use the spacebar to keep on going, in this particular WAN page, there is a caveat section to give you some warnings on how the tool behaves. And some tools will also have an example section. This is actually very useful because there are some complicated commands that it's hard to remember how to use. And usually, if you look at the examples, they give you some really good hints. And if we keep moving down, one of the last sections is called return values. And this is very useful if you're writing scripts and needs to know how the particular program behaves when it runs into problems. And then also the see also section is helpful because this will give you clues on the some other related programs if you may want to use those. And then lastly, you may have warnings, versions, and authors, and so forth. So once again, you type Q to quit. Another command to find other commands, much like what is, is the apropos command, which searches the manual page for names and descriptions. For example, if you want to list out all USB devices that are connected to the system, but can't remember what the command to do that is, you can use apropos by typing apropos, and then the subject, let's say it's USB. And once you hit return, this is going to give you actually a lot of results. And you can look through them all, but this is going to take a little bit of time. So we are going to do this again, but we're going to give it more keywords. We actually want the search to come back when it matches all keywords. So that's the dash A. So it has to match a USB, and then it also has to match list. So once we hit return, now we narrowed it down to just two commands. And sure enough, LSUSB is the one that we wanted to look for. So the dash A again is for all, and then you follow that with all the keywords that you want it to find. Another command you can use to view documentation is the info tool. 
Info is the newer cousin of man page and meant to be more of a learning utility as some of the info nodes contain more in-depth information about the tool and instructs the user on how to use that particular tool. Let's take a look at an example. So the name of the tool is info and I want to get more information on the command called CPIO. So once I hit enter, this is what an info page looks like. And a couple of things you can see here is up on the top, this is the navigation bar. So it tells you the next node is what's called the introduction page. And then if you go up, you basically go up to the top of the directory. And maneuvering the info nodes is a little bit different than man pages. You can use the arrow keys to go up and down the page. And when you see the topics of interest to you, you can put the cursor on that line and hit return and it will go to that particular node. And the nodes are basically the words that are underlined. If you hit the letter N, it will get you to the next node. The letter P brings you to the previous node. Letter U will go up one level to the parent node and Q will quit the info program. My cane install didn't have the info pages loaded. So I'm using a Fedora distro to demonstrate this function. So first thing we see is a description of the command. So let's scroll to the next page and see what other topics there are. And so we can see there's the introduction section, the tutorial section, the invoking section and whatnot. So I'm going to put my cursor on the tutorial section and hit return. So once we hit return, it tells us that the next node is called invoking CPIO. The previous node we were in is the introduction. And then we can always go back up one level. So number two here is the tutorial section. And if you look for the underlying text, like right here with the copy mode, so we can put our cursor on the copy out mode, hit the return key, and now we are in the copy out mode, and we can hit the N key, to see the next node, see the next node, and so on and so forth. And we go P to previous node, U to go up, and then once again type Q to quit. So as you can see, the info pages can be more powerful than a plain man page and it has hyperlinks, but not all commands support info. So it is not as popular as the man pages. But as you can see, the info pages can be more powerful than the man page. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video where we learned about how to get help with Linux commands. We looked at using the dash H or the dash dash help options. The command what is, the man pages, the command apropos, and the info pages. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.